everyone, what's up YouTube? It's Torhan bringing you episode 3 of our Resident Evil Remake playthrough. And let's see. These are all the books. A Fortune 1 arrow. I wonder. We'll bring those with us and that. We'll leave the jewels here. And... Alright. Let us go and explore some more. I forget that door's closed. Alright. We've already been in here. Oh, there we go. We got ourselves another arrow. See, is there anything else of value in here? Oh, that's a fish tank. Um, let's see, we'll go this way. Oh, yeah, well, this doesn't help us. We've already been in here. Oh wait, we died when we went down this way last time. So let's try it again. And down we go. Actually, turn my sound up just a bit here so we can hear better. Let's see, I wonder what's this way versus what's this way. Oh, that was a chest. Alright, so we'll go back to this room here. And hope we don't get killed by... Oh yeah, this is because I was using the... Where'd my lighter go? I must have left it somewhere. Oh yes, we were in here. That's where we got all the zombie flesh from. Somehow that opens up, but we don't know how to do that yet. And I don't know how to open that side up. Nothing. All right. We've been in here. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder. Ha ha. Um, we can't get in there. Oh, I know where we're at. Oh, nice. That's blood. 
Well, you know what? I think I'm on the wrong texture pack, which is why things look funny. Yeah. Here's one we want. Yep, it looks like a grandfather clock again. And that looks like blood drops. I was wondering why things look a little odd. Alright, much better. Let's go this way. Hello, evil zombies. Come out wherever you are. Been this way before. Gimme. Well, we don't need to go there. I've already talked to this guy before. Yeah, we're gonna go back this way. Maybe... Oh, this is where we ran into the creeper. First time I came through here. Oh, it's the library. With the snake. Alright. So nothing of value out down that way. We've already been there. Nothing there. Tripwire, ho! This is the main entrance. I mean, we can always go out here and add these other heads to the collection. Since we've already opened it up. We have the darkness and undead. So we still need to find the creeper and the skeleton. And then once we find those, some evil will be unleashed against us. I hate to even guess what they're going to try to throw at us then. Watch me some form of a wither. That'd be fun. Having to fight a wither. Hmm. I wonder how I can get over there. A dog whistle? And a crumpled memo. Well, let's see what the memo says. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured I could ha somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal, like the vicious canine that lives here. No one will be able to get near it. Yeah. 
As far as I can tell, the mud is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace, and he ought to come running at the sound of the dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person... I hate when I do that. The only person that can get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling, which means only you can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer once hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item you've always wanted to get hold of? Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for both of us. John Tolman. Interesting. And dog whistle. Check that out. Dog whistle. But how's this going to help me? Unless I should have used it on the second floor balcony. I'm not quite sure yet. Hopefully I didn't bundle this up. We'll close that and keep him in there. And we'll have to come back later because I'm not quite sure if I just messed that up or not. Let's see, pants. Oh yes, in here I faced a horde of uglies. And now I'm poisoned. Grand. Oh hey, look, the snake is up here. Are you done killing me, poison? Come on, don't kill me. Okay. Oh, wow, this poison lasts a long time. Come on, we're off. Alright, I'll get back with you guys once this thing's worn off. Alright, you guys, my health is now regenerating slowly. I'm just waiting for it to go up a bit more before we start wandering again. Alright. Oh, hey, look, there's a chest at the top. More rare jewels. Alright. Mask of the Creep. Sweet! Alright. I don't think there's anything else in here that's going to kill us. But man, those potions are vicious. So we have the Mask of the Creep now. Thank you. We need the... There's one more mask that we need, and that's probably... I guess maybe that would be down below where we were at before, but got killed. In the sewers. What's out here?
Nothing that I can use. Grenade launcher. Nice. I like that. Hey, I didn't even hear you, jerk. Well, sucker, now you're dead. All right. Well, at least he died. Little jerk, sneaking up on me. I wonder where he even came from. Oh well. We got a grenade launcher. Which had... Power 5. Nice. That will be handy. Hopefully I'm not missing anything else out this way. Alright. Back yonder. Pants, which is another handgun ammo. We've already got that. This would be where we needed to call the dog. Maybe that's what I found here. What a what a what does that do? I see you, Mr. Chest. Ow. Rare jewel. Now, how do I get back inside? Unless this wanders me back around to the front. Maybe. Exploring in the rain. Funny thing is, it's actually raining here where I live today as I'm playing this. Hmm, I wonder what that is up here that I was just looking at. Ooh, I haven't seen out here yet. Interesting. I wonder where this area is from. Maybe if I do that. Aha, you cannot thwart me. Hmm. 
Okay. I have found my way somewhere. Not quite sure where yet though. And I may be nowhere of any import. So I eat my cookie. And eat 20 round flesh. Alright. Maybe what I need is up here. Climb. Climb faster. see anything down there but I wonder what this actually did I have a feather but I don't see doing anything there oh wait no oh there we go now something's happening Interesting. Ah. Okay. I'm a little worried. Deep breath. Oh, hey, look at this. A save point. Alright. I use that and I use that. Um, we don't need the books. Bread will take. No hitting me! Die already! I don't like you. Level 2, huh? I wonder if there's a way to get in there. Pressure plates. Joy. Oh. Uh -huh. Ah, smart, I learn. Oh. Look. And they probably have strength potions, which is why they're... No! Stay down the stairs! Stay! Die already. Thank you. Yeah. Duh. Burn. Thank you. All right.
Man, it takes a lot out of you. Okay. X-ray lab. Chief researcher's office. Okay, I guess we're going to go in here. Oh, that looks safe. Not. You found a password. Cell. All right. Let's see what the book says. June 8, 1998. My dearest Ada, by the time I read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and I suspected it came out positive. I'm crazy. Wait. I feel like I am teetering the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. That would be anything not to, not to be, have to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass. But if it's turned out that you are now... That if it turns... I can't even read today. It has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive. I want you to get the material from the visual data room, then activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make sure this whole accident is public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I have set up the terminal in the small skating room so that you can log into the system using my name and your name as the password. You'll need another password to release the lock on the door in the basement level 2 where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I have coded that password into an x-ray picture, a rotanogram. I know, I know you, and I'm sure you'll be able to work it out without any trouble. There's just one more thing, and it's my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. Hmm. What is that? Oh, it's just glass pane. Can't be like an awesome computer screen. No, it's glass pane. All right. We're going this way. Level three, huh? Chief Researcher's Office. Hmm. Alright, we can't get out of there yet. Get away! I shot. That's right. I don't like your kind. You make me waste arrows. There's a box in there. All right, we got into those two rooms. Heck yeah. 
That's what I'm talking about. All right. We have another book to read. Let's check. That doesn't do anything. All right, you know what? This is going to be a really good place right here to end this episode. When we come back, we'll check the note here on episode four, and we will continue on. But anyways, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the series, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.